Hey y'all, Emily here from Fair Air Music. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get larger drums, drums with more energy without ever touching a reverb. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got some drums here and they were recorded in a home studio environment, with not a lot of mics, but we still want a natural drum sound. We don't want them to sound too thin. So one thing that you can do instead of grabbing a reverb, because sometimes reverbs kind of wash out a drum, wash out our snare sound. Sometimes it clashes with the overheads. So instead of adding something that may sound a little digital, we can actually add room sound to our drums by using Trigger 2. So I've got a couple of these that I did have to replace. I replaced the kick here with just one trigger there same thing with the snare top and also the snare bottom here is being replaced because it just didn't like the way the drums sounded and that's okay so to create that room sound all i did was took my snare track here and i just duplicated it we've got our snare top copy and i added trigger two to that one as well but this time we just went through a couple of my expansion packs and settled on the cla rock snare one thought that sounded the best and put that preset in to trigger two and then bumped up the room and overhead mic so obviously to create more room sound so first let's take out the room sound that we've added and then i'll bring it back in and we'll compare how the two sound So much more energy, so much more life, so much more room sound, natural room sound, because that's what I'm looking for. That's that's what I was lacking when I was just trying to put a reverb on my snare. It was just sort of sounding like it was just washing over it. But this way, we're really blending in an actual sound that's kind of able to just like hug everything else and make it all sound really natural. This way, you can take small sounding drums, drums that were recorded in, you know, a, a bedroom, something that's, you know, not treated very well, or that you just don't have any extra mics to set up to capture the room. And this is just a simple technique that anybody can do, but just adding a trigger too. It goes a long way. You can have a lot of fun uh, recreating different room sounds, but I promise you it'll make it sound a lot larger, bring a lot more energy to your mix. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for checking out this technique, and we'll talk again real soon.